couch Dogs need adolescents So this is what we're going to learn in this lesson. I'm going to give you the ultimate beginner's guide to harmonica. Now, uh, this brace looks stupid, I know, but what can you do if you want to play guitar and harmonica at the same time? You have to wear this brace. Um, just imagine driving with this brace if you want to play harmonica while driving. It looks even more ridiculous. So um, there's that. Now, um, the harmonica. I'll be playing a C major harmonica, diatonic harmonica, with 10 holes. And I'm gonna teach you the technique for playing harmonica and also how to train yourself to play harmonica with the guitar. And I also have three more harmonicas here, each in a different key, A, G, and D. And I'm gonna give you chord progressions to practice with, but first we need to learn the basics. We need to learn how to operate this tool. Now, many people, when they first grab a harmonica, I'm a little bit out of breath because the harmonica takes breathing away, um, and uh, it's a wind instrument after all. So let me catch my breath for a second. And um, what they do is this, they put their mouth over the harmonica and they just blow and inhale. Okay, and they do it really loud and unfortunately, that's what most people think is harmonica playing. Now, let me give you an example of what a beginner harmonica player sounds like, and that also includes some performing artists, even big name artists. They play it like this. Now this is one way to play it, but it's not the only way, and it's actually the least effective way. And the secret to getting a good sound out of this instrument is very simple. Pucker up your lips, like this, okay? As if you're making a really awful selfie, or as if you're planning on kissing a family member, like this, okay? The smaller your mouth hole is, the better the sound will be, okay? I know this was an awkward phrasing, but that's how you get when you talk about playing instruments. Put your finger on the wood and press. So, um, yeah, you wanna get one note out to cover one hole. That's the basic sound, not this. Okay, this is actually a more advanced technique. So, try to cover one hole, just one, okay, and then, Inhale and exhale. Okay, then just try out different hole. Okay, and it doesn't really matter if you sound good or not, the idea is to try it out. Okay, now the next exercise would be to try to make a very, very short melody out of it. Try to exhale, inhale, and do it out of order. Try to exhale, 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 inhale, inhale, exhale, while changing holes, and you'll get an instant melody out of it. Try it. I'll give an example. See? A very rudimentary melody, but it's a melody. That's how you operate the harmonica. The next step would be to operate two holes at a time. Okay? Just extend your mouth, mouth hole to two holes. Just extend it a little bit, okay? I won't do a close up, that would be way out of line, but just listen. Okay, that's two holes. Do the same with that. Okay, that's the next exercise. Try to create a little melody out of that. It doesn't really matter if you don't make sense yet. You're just getting to know the instrument.
right? And once you make sense out of that, the next exercise would be to combine the two, one hole and two holes. Okay, now accidentally I used a bending technique. I'll tell you all about it in a second, but you can guess the next exercise by now, right? Three holes. This is two. This is three. Now, when you play three holes, it starts to sound a little bit chaotic. Okay, because that's not what the harmonica is supposed to sound like all the time. You're supposed to alternate between one, two, or three holes. And sometimes even four, but let's not go there. Once you're proficient with the harmonica, you'll see for yourself that you can extend your mouth um, for more holes. Okay? And that's the basic exercise. Okay? One hole, try a melody. Inhale, exhale, at random. Then two holes, do the same. Three holes, do the same, and then combine it. One hole, two holes, three holes. And I promise you, okay, I guarantee it. By the time you're done with these exercises, if you give them enough time, okay, if you sit for 10 minutes with one hole, 10 minutes with two holes, and 10 minutes with three holes, by the time you get to the mingling exercise, you will have 30 minutes of harmonica experience, okay, and you'll understand how to operate it. That's the best exercise I can give you because this is a very simple instrument. Now, once you're proficient and you can come up with things such as this. Okay, this is a pretty old harmonica, so the high notes are a little bit off key, but as you saw when I played it, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. It actually makes it sound a little bit bluesy. So um, the next exercise would be learning techniques. And there are two main techniques, the bending technique and the rhythmic percussion technique. Yep, percussion. The bending takes place uh, with your tongue. Okay? You do uh, the harmonica bends using your tongue. You just move it around. And when I do something like this, okay, I'm actually saying, oyo. Okay? Try it out. It's the same with inhaling. Okay? And then after you reach the y part, you know, the oy part, oy they part, Start moving your tongue around like this. And you get this. Yeah, it's oy 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 oy. Right? That's the whole thing. That's that's how you operate and bend a harmonica note. Now uh, you can also bend a harmonica note by uh, puckering your lips even farther. Okay, this creates a kind of a blues bend. Okay, but um, as I just uh, found out for myself, it takes both the oyoyoy part and puckering your lips to a tighter hole. Okay, now I know this lesson is full of uh, options for innuendo, but let's keep it civil and let's be mature. Uh, this is a music lesson, okay? So um, if you want to be immature, be my guest, I'm not gonna go there. So, okay, practice this, practice the bending. Okay? It doesn't really matter if you're making music yet. Okay? So try the and then try the okay? This is what it sounds like without a harmonica. Um, the next step would be to actually make rhythmic moves. And the rhythm is, again, with your tongue, but also with your throat. You just say t and k, okay? And you start making rhythm. Yeah, and you can also do ta-ra-ka-ta-ra-ka-ta-ta-ra-ka-ta. 
See? Now we're making music because music is rhythm. The notes are secondary, always. So, okay. Now the next uh, tool is the slide. And you've probably encountered the slide if you did the previous exercise. Okay, just moving your mouth around or moving the harmonica around. Okay, and the next exercise would be to combine all of them and try longer jumps. Now, if you want to know how to do this move, though, um, you cup the harmonica, you cup the other hand, and you put your hands together, okay, to create kind of a sound box, much like the guitar body, okay? Cup both hands, put them together, so the harmonica can blow into the sound box. Now, um, when you have your hands like this, you just take this hand and wave it, and it sounds like this. Okay, kind of like a wawa, an analog, a physical wawa. Okay, you can also separate your hands and put them back together. Or just wave. Okay, but the object of this lesson is to play harmonica with the guitar. Now, we're getting serious. Um, let's take a very, very simple uh, chord progression. C, A minor, F, and G, or C, A minor, D minor, and G. Okay, or, okay, just a normal four chord progression. And just play it in the rhythm that's comfortable for you. And then try to play a note on the harmonica. One note, keep one note going, don't move around yet, okay, one note, and keep the rhythm going, and try to create rhythms on the rhythmic patterns on the harmonica using ta ka ta ta ka ta ta okay, randomly. Okay, once you can do that, you can play harmonica with a guitar, okay? That's all it is. The notes are just moving your head around. Once you can play one rhythm on the guitar and a different rhythm improvise, a different rhythm using the harmonica, you can play the harmonica together with the guitar. A lot simpler than you thought it would be, right? Now let's try to make melodies using the chord progression. And once you can concentrate on the harmonica and create rhythmic patterns and your hands will be playing the chords uh, automatically, you can start concentrating on the notes, on creating solos on the harmonica. And if you've done all the previous exercises, this should be a piece of cake by now. Um, it would be a little bit confusing at first, but again, concentrate on the previous exercise first, okay? Rhythm, only rhythm. <laughs> If you can do this, you can do this. Okay, using all the techniques that I showed you before. Um, the idea is to keep it simple and slow. Don't start with a fast rhythm. Just try to create a mellow melody. Just something very, very slow and very, very melodic. Nothing fancy.
Also try to modulate the volume using your uh, using your lungs uh, to blow more air for louder volume or less air for lower volume. Now let's try different keys. Let's take G for example. A good um, a good chord progression for G would be this. I intentionally uh, leave D out of it, okay? I want to create an interesting melody without being too expected. I want to challenge myself because after all, I'm improvising. So I was playing G, E minor, B minor, and C, okay? Another tip I can give you before I'll change into the next key is that if you come across a really, really interesting line, try to repeat it, but in different rhythms. Okay, that's a good improvising tip for guitar solos as well. But um, on the harmonica, uh, for example, I did something like this. Okay, just... Uh, okay out and out and then moving um, to the left and out. Okay, it was the same line but in different rhythms and different placements within the bar. Okay, okay just take the same line and try to move it around uh, rhythmically while maintaining the rhythm. That's a really good exercise. Now for uh, D. In D, you can play D, A, B minor, F sharp minor, G. Okay? And then end on A if you like. D and A. Uh, perhaps you can change the ending. You can do G A D. You can do D A D. You can do G D G D. You can change the ending. So D A B minor F sharp minor, and then G, and then whichever ending you like. So. Just a very simple example, trying to uh, mimic the canon itself. Now for A. For A, I have a really interesting chord progression for you, uh, because by now you should be used to playing the harmonica. So it's this. This harmonica is even older than the C harmonica, so uh, the high holes are really out of tune. Yeah, it happens a lot with harmonicas. By the way, after you're done playing, um, I know this is um, a little bit gross, um, take the holes and tap them on your uh, pant leg or on a tissue and just get the spit out because the spit is what makes the reeds rust and take the harmonica out of tune. Okay now, this is an interesting note and, and it fits the A major scale but not every chord with this chord progression fits this note so I just stay off of it, but if you have a new harmonica, it should be fine. So the chord progression was A using five, six, seven on strings two, three, and four. Okay, then I took this 
five, six, seven to five, six, six to create C sharp minor and it's C sharp minor over A because we're not playing the bar. Okay, I turn it from F to A minor, the shape. Then I took this two frets down to three, four, four to have B minor and it's B minor over A. It's actually a more complicated A chord, but let's call it B minor over A. And then it's D and E. Now you can do D sus two and then take this two frets up, okay, for this or just E and this is what you get, okay, once again. Okay, it's a good opportunity for really nice melody. I left my focus somewhere in the middle there because I uh, forgot to mention that you can put the pinky on seven on the E string, if you like, for the first two chords. Okay, and for the third chord, take the pinky two frets down as well to five, so you get... Right? So it's... to sh show you what a wrong note sounds like when your harmonica is bust. But it's also an interesting exercise to avoid that note or to find out where it fits. rhythmic exercises and jumping exercises you know one pedal note and a rhythmic play on that and then try to jump around the harmonica it's not that much of a big jump because it's just a few centimeters to the left or the right but it feels like a big jump when you're playing it because you have to keep your mouth tight to fit one or two holes remember <laughs> Yeah, this harmonica might be trash worthy by now. Um, so, as you can see, you know how to play harmonica, and it's a lot simpler than you thought. And um, the next harmonica lesson would be how to play blues harmonica or cross harp. Um, well, actually, I can give you the tip right now. Just inhale on the fourth uh, on the fourth hole, and you'll get the blues scale. See, if you inhale on the fourth, uh, here, I saved you another video. And uh, the secret is that if you're, for example, if you're using the C harmonica, then you're actually playing um, on the G mixolydian scale. So you're with the blues on G. See, so um, it's a fourth apart. Okay, the chord below it. If you're playing on G, then the corresponding blues harp, blues harmonica would be C, right? If you're playing on E, then the blues harmonica would be A. Okay, I can prove it to you, where is it? Okay, and the blues harmonica would be A. And this harmonica doesn't fit anymore for playing, but still. See? So um, a fourth apart, uh, you can uh, also do, uh, you can also calculate five frets apart. For example, E is on zero, zero plus five is five, it's A. If you're on C, then C plus five, okay, F. 
uh, and so on and so forth. But I do suggest that you know what a fourth in music is. Um, a lot of music is based on fourths. But enough with this lesson. Go play your harmonica. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't think I should give you any reasons why. You see why. So uh, join the Lick and Riff community and I'll be more than happy to teach you again. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.